Okay, so again we attach our lorinda scope, put it on at an angle, flick up and make sure your bulb is working. We're going to bring our lube, our syringe and our tie to secure our tube in place. And then we're going to select three suitable tubes. So we select the one that we think is the right size and one above and one below. So I'm going to go for a seven, the six and a half and the seven and a half. Right, so we're going to check our tube. So we'll check the length from the nostrils to the manubrium. And if it was too long, we cut it on this side and reattach our connector. We're going to check the patency of the cuff. So we inflate the cuff. Make sure you close it properly so it stays inflated. Check that it's inflated all the way around. And leave it for a minute. Then you deflate by just releasing your connector. We're going to lubricate our tube. Just a small bit of lube. Now, at this stage you give your assistant nice clear instructions. So Celine, if you could place our patient in sternal recumbency, please. So you hold him close into you. And I'm going to give you this piece of tape. I'm going to place it behind his canines. And if you could hold that towards the ceiling for me. Thank you. Now, so we pull our tongue forward, we hold it with our fingers. Let's get the ears a bit more. We use the rinse scope on the back of the tongue so we can visualise where our tube is going to go. We again run our ET tube down the blade of the rinse scope. And into our patient. Now, the patient goes back into lateral recumbency. We're going to secure that ET tube in place, so secure behind the connector. Make sure your knot is secure, that it's not going to slip through and tie above the nose. Finally, we inflate our cuff. We'll check for placement. We're happy it's in place, then we connect up our circuit. So we set our oxygen to 5 litres. So the bubble sits exactly in the centre of the 5. And we connect our patient.